Hi everyone, welcome to social studies class. Today, I would be starting off the new topic that is latitude and longitude. I have divided this topic in two parts and in this first part, I'll talk about parallels of latitude in detail. I'm trying to make all videos in an easy to understand language, keeping the age of class 5 students in mind. So, let's get started. Before starting the topic parallels of latitude straight away, I would like to start with concept of imaginary lines. If you take a look at a globe or a map, you will find that Earth appears to be covered with many vertical and horizontal lines across its surface. These are imaginary lines. Now why they are called imaginary lines? Because with the help of these imaginary lines, we locate any place on earth. Ye lines actual mein hamari earth mein nahi hai, ye imaginary hai. Aur inhe is liye banaya jata hai globe ya map mein, jis ki help se hum kisi bhi jage ya kisi bhi place ko asani se identify ya locate kar sake. Parallels of latitude. The imaginary lines running horizontal from east to west are called the parallels of latitude. Latitude is the distance measured in degrees. Means, jab bhi hum kisi place ke latitude ko measure karte hain, to hum un figures ko hamesha degrees mein likhte hain. Jaise 23.5 degrees, 90 degrees ya 66.5 degrees. The lines of latitudes circle the globe in an east to west direction. The distance between the lines of latitude is always the same and they never meet. Now if you look at this image given in this slide, you will notice that all parallels are drawn with equal distance. Means koi bhi do parallels aapas mein ek dusre se nahi mil rahe hain ya ek dusre ko cross nahi kar rahe hain. Kisi bhi do parallels ke beech ka distance hamesha same hota hai. They cross the prime meridian at right angle. Since the circumference of earth gets smaller towards the poles, the lines of latitude are shorter near the poles and they virtually become points. Jaise jaise hum poles ke paas jate hai, vese vese latitude ka size small hota jata hai and eventually ye points jaise dikhai dene lagte hai. Now some interesting facts about latitude. One of the parallel of latitude runs midway across the earth's surface. This is called the equator. Now look into this image of our earth. You will find that there is a line running midway across our globe. It's a equator bolte hai. There are 181 parallels of latitude including equator. You remember I told you all about hemispheres of our earth while discussing globes and maps. So keeping that division of hemisphere in mind, let's look into this picture and try to understand that there are 90 parallels of latitude in northern hemisphere. Means equator se upar ki taraf jab hum north pole ke side jayenge, to hume total 90 latitudes dikhenge. Aur same aise hi jab hum equator se south pole ki taraf jayenge, to bhi hume 90 latitudes hi milenge. So in total, we have 180 parallels of latitudes. And if we add equator also, then the count becomes 181. Equator is the line of 0 degree latitude. Means this is basically a reference point. Iske upar ya niche hum jaise jaise har latitude ki taraf badhte jate hain, uski degrees change hoti jati hai. Latitude is used along with longitude to specify the precise location on the earth's surface. I will talk about longitudes in detail in our next part, in our next video I mean. But for now you all should keep that in mind that both are equally important to locate any place on earth. Latitude is an angle which ranges from 0 degree at the equator 
to not to 90 degree north or south at the poles as i told you earlier that degree of latitude changes as we move towards either of the poles now some more interesting facts about latitude the number of the parallels in the southern hemisphere are followed by s which stands for south and in the northern hemisphere they are followed by n which stands for north now let me give you one example both chandrapur in maharashtra india and belo horizonte in brazil south america are located on parallels of 20 degree latitude but the former is 20 degree yani chandrapur maharashtra mein jo hai wo 20 degree north yani northern hemisphere mein hai aur belo horizonte is 20 degree south yani southern hemisphere mein hai as we move away from the equator the size of the parallels of latitude decreases means jaise hi hum equator se dur jate jate hain aur poles ki taraf badhte jate hain latitude ka jo size hota hai wo decrease yani kam hota jata hai now we will talk about some important parallels of latitude Beside the equator, the North Pole and the South Pole, there are four important parallels of latitude. Means equator, North Pole or South Pole ke alawa, char all important or main parallels of latitude hain. They are the Tropic of Cancer. It lies in Northern Hemisphere at 23.5 degree. Tropic of Capricorn. It lies in Southern Hemisphere at 23.5 degree. Arctic Circle. It's north of the equator at 66.5 degree. And Antarctic Circle. It's south of the equator at 66.5 degree. Now, did you all know that Tropic of Cancer passes through 16 countries of the world, including India? It passes through eight states in India. They are Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Tripura and Mizoram. Mahi River is the only river in India that cuts the Tropic of Cancer twice. First in Madhya Pradesh from where it flows towards Rajasthan and enters Gujarat where it cuts for the second time. The Tropic of Capricorn passes mainly through water because there is less land for it to cross in the Southern Hemisphere. However, it does cross through places like Madagascar, Brazil, Argentina and Australia to name a few. The Arctic Circle consists of the Arctic Ocean and the parts of Canada, Russia, the USA, Greenland, Norway, Finland, Sweden and Iceland. The Arctic is home to lots and lots of wonderful wildlife including polar bears, arctic foxes, walruses, seals and whales. But one fascinating species which is found only in Arctic is the narwhal. It is often referred as unicorn of the sea. The coldest uninhabited place on earth is Antarctica. So that's all for today. So this video was all about main and important topics related to parallels of latitude. We'll continue this topic and in our next part I will talk about meridians of longitude in detail. Thank you.